So I will talk now about road mapping for open project. And oops, wrong one. So what we will do is what we, we will um, see how we can use a roadmap to plan your work and contribution for a project, for, for your project, for your open project, and look at some examples. And uh, during at the end of the course, we will give you an assignment to create or revise your, your roadmap for your project. But I will first uh, introduce you to the roadmap. Um, so same as you mentioned, so it's the same introduction to open leader design and build project that empower others to collaborate. And I will talk a bit now about the collaboration part and how the roadmap can help you to empower others to collaborate within com inclusive communities to your project. Um, again, these nice tables of designing, building, empowering, and for understanding, sharing, and participation. And uh, now with the roadmap, we will focus on this, uh, the part on the top right uh, participation and inclusion so how you design your project to help participation and inclusion um, so the idea is to to develop a welcoming space that make a good first impression that you you or new contributors are in the right place to contribute that they feel welcome and that they can be they can get involved in one project but for that, you, let, you need to let them know what's going on, what's happening, what, uh, what is the current statue of a project, what you, what you as a leader of a project, you want to, what is your vision? So you already write your visions, but you can detail it a bit more with the roadmap. Yep. And so a roadmap will be a summary of a project, welcoming people to contribute, welcoming people um, how they can get involved and usually you have a timeline. So it's a three main, main uh, parts in the roadmap, these three parts. So the first part, the project summary and welcome, um, will make people, you know, welcome people, orient people to your, to your project. So usually that has been linked to your roadmap directly. So they never, maybe never heard about your project. They, they went directly to your roadmap. So it's important to help them understanding where they are. What is your project? What is it about? What is your visions? Um, that they, they understand, they have a vision, they have a big idea about the project. And to give them a clear focus, uh, it's also help you to give a focus when writing the rest of the roadmap, if you already wrote, uh, write the visions. So the project summary first is the first thing that you will have in your roadmap. And then the second step is how to get involved. So some new contributors may want to just jump right away. They want to contribute directly, but so then you need to point them where, how, to some documentations, to how they can contribute. Maybe you have some um, easy to contribute uh, issues or something. It's important to do that in your, in your, in your roadmap. You, you need to do that to, to tell them how they can get involved. And point them to important part, to the different part of your project. The third part and the more, the more important part of your roadmap will be the timeline. So you need to organize tasks to complete your project around different milestones. And that it will map uh, what you are working on and what is going next. So what is your currently task that you need to achieve what, and what is your visions maybe on short terms, uh, mid terms and long terms. And in fact, so you define different milestones that can be turning points, significant turning points or events that will move your, your project forward. It can be statues. So for example, you have a feature release plan, you have a minimal, uh, a minimal uh, viable product that you want to release. It can be also an event. So for example, you organize the hackathon and you have different milestones. You want to do, achieve these things before the hackathon or during the hackathon, or you have a deadline for, submission of a paper somewhere or for a conference, for example, and you want to achieve things before. It can be, it's also time frame. So as I mentioned, oh, there is a mistakes in the, <laughs> um, in the slide. So time frame, the short time, the short terms, medium terms, and long terms, um, a, a frame for your project. 
Um, so it's important to, when you write your, your to have to pick one to three milestones for your timeline. And then once you have them, you can uh, list some tasks to complete for each of the milestones. That will include information to, make, to help people to contribute, to know what has to be done, uh, what will be a successful, what will be a success for these tasks, how it should look like, how you can get started. So maybe point to some documentation or some part of your code to, to say, okay, how can I do that? And why this task is important. So on Fiverr that to make sure that you relate that to your vision. Um, and the question is how you can share now this roadmap, how you store your roadmap. Um, we were discussing quickly with Malvika and you to, uh, in the beginning of the calls uh, that um, it's moving quite, it's changing a lot. So the way you can do it is before, I would say, and until recently, it was you have a separate file called roadmap.md. And if you go to this uh, link there, open discovery, I don't know if, I, oh, I can, do you see my screen if I open it? Nope. Stay your slides. Okay, sorry. So you can go through the links later, but you can store in a roadmap file.md, for example, in, if you have a Google, uh, GitHub uh, repository where you store this roadmap that the people can find later. You can also put that in the readme file, but I must admit that I didn't find a good example, recent example, up-to-date example of a readme file with a roadmap inside. Because nowadays, I would say most of the people use an issue. So you have an issue to, to, with a roadmap, for example, for the open life science applications. So uh, I think it was, yeah, when we, uh, so in, for the last uh, trimester. So we had this roadmap, uh, what we need to do for the applications for our program here. And we wrote a roadmap for that. But also, if you're using GitHub to, for your project, you have these nice uh, project tabs in GitHub. And that is, you can see in the top of, your, uh, of the project, which is really nice to organize your roadmap there. Uh, for example, the Galaxy project, um, they use that, and it's quite powerful because you can really move things forward. And, that, and it's totally open, so people can see it. Um, but then you need to be sure that your vision and things are clear before. Um, and I was, it was just a global overview of what is a roadmap. I will recommend you to go through the different, um, the different example that I show you because they are, they are quite okay, quite nice. Um, and to, to try to draft your roadmap for your project. It doesn't have to be a final one. It's just, a first version of your of your roadmap, and it will help you to 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 know what you want to do and which steps you want to achieve, and also the timing for that. And yeah, welcoming new contributors. And on that, I would like to thank you for listening for that and to that. And yeah, again, sharing the same idea of our programs. And yeah, thank you.